a lot of people uh, from YouTube community and our friend circle people do reach out to us that they are struggling to get entry level jobs in DevOps and cloud. And our suggestion to them is usually not to stay freshers or entry level in if you really have to succeed in this area and get those initial entry jobs. So why that is different is uh, because these roles are very specialized. They are impacting the entire application, its stability, etc. So it's not you can't compare them to your traditional IT jobs of a dev or of a Java engineer or a, or a front end engineer and those kind of legacy roles that have been there. Test automation. These are quite different roles because you are actually managing the entire application. And from that application, I mean, if they are customer facing, they are actually representing the brand. So if you are working for a startup, the actual application that, that is generating sales for them is hosted on a cloud infrastructure. If you go and make some mistake, uh, that trust factor is usually not there with very junior profiles. So that is the only gap that you will see that, you know, that's the only main reason that people are not hiring very junior level people in these roles and they expect that they build that experience elsewhere and they will spend some little bit extra and then get senior people uh, helping in this one. So to give that comfort, we all, always suggest not to stay freshers, not to stay entry level, try to justify yourself as an experienced DevOps and cloud professional. And the only way you can get experience is that if you can talk those terms, you, your vocabulary is demonstrating that uh, your, your concepts are clear. You are not tied to a specific tool, A, B, C. You are not saying that I'm, I'm a Jenkins engineer or I'm a specific uh, uh, cloud platform, cloud engineer. You, you are an overall a DevOps and cloud engineer. So you can switch between different roles. Uh, how you develop that terminology, how you develop that confidence is by doing projects. And that is the main reason we started this channel that we found, we find that there are massive gaps in the way uh, students are learning their uh, DevOps and cloud, getting that knowledge. The, the knowledge in the college and the universities is pretty much absent. Uh, and they do it through online channels. They, they try to build some very basic projects. And a lot of them, like in the tune of hundreds, people reach out to us that they have completed a DevOps and AWS course somewhere, and now they are struggling. Because what you learn from those instructors or that basic course is the objective is to bring a lot of knowledge to you in a short period of time, but they are not sufficient. They will just make you aware of the technology and that's pretty much. Next is up to you to build complex projects, how you can uh, get specification for a project that is used in the industry. Take that uh, as a reference and build that with your own hands. Show that as your experience that's how you, you can project yourself as an experienced uh, professional. First, first, you have to convince yourself by building on such uh, building such solutions. Once you are satisfied, then you can easily project yourself as an experienced professional. So that is our uh, way. Uh, that's uh, how we uh, help you building those uh, projects. And uh, you can check out some of the other videos, uh, the links to how we, how we do that, uh, that sort of thing. See you in uh, some batch uh, in, in one of our live matches.